Hi, my name is Bill Pomacoy, president of Rhodes Car International. You know, it started from an idea that David Rhodes had nearly 30 years ago in his small barn in Hendersonville, Tennessee, has turned into a thriving four-wheel bicycle business for both residential and industrial use. And I'm very proud to say that every Rhodes car four-wheel bike is made right here in the United States. I'm also proud to say that in 2011, we're celebrating our 20th year in business. And that means we have a lot of happy customers all over the globe because we have shipped Rhodes car four-wheel bikes to literally every continent over those 20 years. So let me take you through the entire process of building a Rhodes car from the manufacturing of the steel frame through the powder coating process right through manufacturing of the parts that get applied to the bike. And this is an actual bike that's being made for a customer in upstate New York. And that customer ordered a two-person sport ped, which is our newest and I think coolest model. It has a curved windshield and it's uh, UV resistant and it's wind resistant. And this customer ordered it with 42 speeds, so each person has 42 speeds available to them. And also our PD750 electric assist motor. So let me show you what happened once they placed their order, shall we? That road car really starts with our proprietary steel frame. These frames were really designed to handle the rigors of everyday four-wheel bicycle use. And although we've made some important improvements over the years, the basic design that David Rhodes created nearly 20 years ago remains the same. And one thing has never changed and will never change. We still use steel that's made in the good old United States of America. I want to introduce you to Jeremy Todd, who heads up this manufacturing process uh, for Rhodes Car. Uh, Jeremy, how you doing? I'm great, Bill. Thanks for the introduction. The process of the bicycle frame, there are many processes to complete the fabrication. We start by buying two-inch steel tubing in bulk from a local supplier. Once the material is received, the framing is cut to size per specs on the drawing. Each piece of tubing has a different process that it may go through. Each individual piece uh, has different hole locations for different mounting purposes. This purpose is done on our CNC machine. Once all the tubing has been machined and holes are added, it moves to the welding process. Each component is placed in its proper location, which will help with making multiple bikes. Once the fabrication of the frame is complete, uh, they're sent off to powder coat. The powder coating process is very important to the overall construction of the Rhodes car because we have to protect that steel frame against the elements. So with me today to take us through that powder coating process is Russ Bettinger, who's going to explain the whole process to you. Hello, Russ. We're going to start out by cleaning them with iron phosphate, which will etch the parts, um, helping the powder do it here. Um, good strong bond is what we're looking for. Now that the steering columns and that one frame that we're showing you has been uh, cleaned, it gets rolled over to an oven, a 400 degree oven, where those posts in that frame are dried thoroughly before powder coat. Hey Russ, tell me about the powder coating process as we are almost ready to bring that frame and those uprights into the spray booth. Can you tell us about the setup here? Sure. Uh, what we're going to do, um, when we pull the parts out of the oven, we're going to roll them into this powder booth, which pulls the, uh, the, the powder out of the ice gun does and emits a, a, a positive electrical field. Um, as the powder comes uh, through the gun, it'll be charged with a positive, uh, positive field, um, and it will uh, automa automatically attract to the uh, to the grounded part. Now that the components have been uh, brought up to about 375 or so degrees, Russ is taking it out of that oven. And he's going to roll it into the powder coating booth where you'll see the frame being powder coated.
Now, because that frame has an electrostatic charge, you'll see the powder sticking to it without really any overspray, which is one of the unique things about the powder coating process. And now that it's been powder coated, Russ is going to wheel that cart right back in the oven where it's going to dry under extreme heat for about another 25 minutes. Well, it's been about 30 minutes now and uh, the powder coat process should be cured. Russ is going to wheel that out. And you can see after the big through powder coating process and then the oven, more importantly, to shine on versus the shine when you took them out of the powder coating booth. Well, Russ, thanks for taking us through the powder coating process. Absolutely. Now it's on to manufacturing. Right, thank you. And now I'd like to introduce you to Chris Spann, who is a partner in the Rhodes car business and also heads up manufacturing. Hey, Chris. Hey, Bill.
Well, I hope you enjoyed your factory tour, and we really look forward to building you a customized four-wheel bike from Rhodes Car. Give us a call at 800-531-2737, and thanks again for stopping by.